Hey YouTube, what's going on? Bearded Chief back here with my son, Kilted Gunsmith, 1947. Today is actually Thanksgiving, but by the time you see this, it'll be Tuesday, what's that, the 27th, 28th, something like that? Somewhere around. I'm not going to uh, edit this video or anything this weekend. Uh, he and I both work weekends, so it's tough. So we're going to do it today. It's actually Thanksgiving, like I said, and we just got done gorging. A little bit of a food coma right now. So today's video is going to be kind of different. Um, I got Christmas scents, holiday scents, and I've got one that's got a really good story to it. I want you to stick around for that. But we're going to kick off with, uh, I'm having my son smell these different ones. We're not going to do an in-depth review. I'm going to tell you what the scent profile is and things like that, but it's not going to be an in-depth review because there's, what, nine of them, ten of them, something we're going to talk about real quick. Yeah. And they're all holiday scents. And uh, we're going to first start off with one I just got in the mail last week from Jimmy Atkins from Ruddy Man. And opened up the package, and my wife and daughter were, were here, and they smelled them all, but they smelled this one at different times. And both of them, their eyes lit up. They said, this is amazing. And I was like, which one's that? And she said, it's Chain Links. And this is, believe it or not, a Christmas scent. And it is uh, Ghostly Musk, Black Cardamom, Nutmeg, and Cold Winter Chill. <laughs> Sorry, my whiteboard's a little further away today. Son, what do you think of that? So, first off, I think the label's actually pretty cool. You got, basically, it looks like a, a cheetah or a leopard riding a motorcycle with chains on it. Chain links. Nope. Makes sense. And a chain link fence type kind of thing. Oh, man. It smells like a nice clone. It's strong, but not overpowering. And you get that nice musk. And I'm not a fan of musk scents, personally. But this doesn't smell like a normal musk, not yeah. like old man musk, maybe your grandpa or great grandpa smell. What? <laughs> I'm a grandpa. Technically, yeah. <laughs> but it is nice. I think, I mean, I've already had a little sneak peek with all of these, and they're all great scents, so mm -hmm. just a forewarning. Mm -hmm. But chain links, Dope. good stuff. All right, same one. We got a couple by Ruddy Man, and then we're going to break into one with a really cool story. So hold on, wait for that one. Next up is Christmas Present, like I said, also by Ruddy Man. And Christmas Present is festive figgy pudding, uh, evergreen uh, garland, and tones of spiced fruit. So, <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, you know, yeah. that song, you know, Give Me Some Figgy Pudding, Give me pudding. this hits the nail on the head. If you could put that song with the beard oil, this would be the beard oil for the song. Yep. Um, it you get that nice figgy pudding, very almost tasty. Mm. Like if you could yeah. taste it, you could smell it. That's yeah. what you get. It's nice. Yeah. And I don't get a ton of the evergreen, but just the touch. I've never been a, a fan of pine. Me neither. And a few of these have different version of pine, and I'm like firs and evergreens and Christmas wreaths and things like that. So you get that that holiday scent, pine Christmas tree vibe without going into that regular old boring pine. So, next up is Love Feast. And I didn't think this was a Christmas one until I read the, the uh, scent profile. And this one is Moravian Sweet Bread, Incense, Mold Citrus, and Piedmont, excuse me, Piedmont Foliage. And uh, it's definitely Christmas scent. Out of the Ruddy Man, I think that one might be my favorite. Oh. It, mm. If you ever get like a, uh, a vanilla with just a little bit of pumpkin. Not pumpkin spice, but just regular pumpkin. It's in a cupcake, basically, yeah. or a muffin. That's what it smells like. It's, it smells delicious. I almost get like an oatmeal type. Yeah. Real light oatmeal, oatmeal in the mm -hmm. back, but there's no oatmeal in it. Um, today, like I said, is Thanksgiving. And I obviously had to have a Thanksgiving scent. And I went with Bad Pilgrim. And uh, I got this in the same time from Ready Man, and uh, it's it's alive. It's it's a, a nice hard hit and scent, and then it, it comes and it, it goes a little bit, and it's just it's just right. And uh, it's it's a festive meal type scent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like all those scents you get from uh, from the meal, and as soon as you walk in the door to a family member's house, you get overcome with those those pies bacon and cookies bacon and all the different scents, and I just, I got that in today for the first time, and big time fan of that one. And I figured I'd throw 
Thanksgiving and because today is actually Thanksgiving appropriate. And you know, which uh, happy Thanksgiving to yes, all my Americans. Absolutely, absolutely. Next up on the list is a new company, and uh, this is Notable Beard Company. Evan Johnson, he's from South Dakota. He started selling a year ago to his wife's uh, salon and recently just started selling, uh, what, this uh, September. He launched the uh, website in September. Very small batch guy, not a lot of people know about him. And I was on Facebook, as you know, as you do. And I seen this, and this is Christmas Truce. And I'm gonna let my son tell you the story because my son's actually a history buff, but with um, Evan, he likes to have history involved in his scent profiles. I actually bought another one that I'm not reviewing today because it's uh, old Ironside, it's the Constitution, and I'm sorry, I had to have that being a Navy guy. Um, but I had to have this one too because my son told me this story a long time ago. I heard it, but I kind of forgot about it. But if you want to like refresh these people's memory on what happened on Christmas Truce that made this oil so cool. So with Christmas Truce, it's a very touching story. Um, there's actually a very amazing movie called Joyeux Noël. It's French. I know it's going to be hard to uh, spell, but um, it's about the Christmas truce in World War One. World War One started back in 1914. Now on the Western Front, with the French and the British on the Allied side, and the Triple Entente and the Axis guys, the Germans. Um, oh, I kind of screwed that up. I'm a little rough, but anyway. On Christmas Eve, they were fighting, and it was quiet, and history speculates a little bit about which side started the whole truce part, but it started with a junior soldier, believed to be a German the first, came up with a white flag on a Christmas tree, a little small pine tree, and came over into no man's land, where lots of men were killed in the battlefield, and one or two of the British guys came out, followed by several more from both sides, and they kind of just met up in no man's land. And Christmas Eve, they exchanged gifts, shared pictures. Most of them obviously didn't understand each other because of the language difference. But nonetheless, they spent Christmas Eve together celebrating as if they were home, exchanging gifts, cigarettes, drinks, and played a little bit of what most of the world calls football, or us Americans call soccer. And that followed all the way into the morning, and unfortunately, they had to start fighting again. And at some point, I don't know exactly when, higher command from both uh, nations found out about it, and obviously that would be considered treason, fraternizing with the enemy. So instead of executing all those soldiers, they took them and put them in different fronts. A lot of the Germans ended up going out east to fight on um, the Russians and whatnot. And a lot of the British and French got moved elsewhere. Um, how many and who, what, where, a little gray area, but nonetheless, it never happened again after that because of what happened. And it's an amazing story. If you could find the movie, it's, it's heart, heartbreaking at the end, uh, especially when the uh, Germans were getting sent off to the West, Eastern Front to fight the Russians. And, but it still reminded them home. They shared what gifts they got from home with each other. Just moments ago, they were killing each other because their countries told them to, and they celebrated Christmas together like a family, and then went back to war. So, you know, Evan, you did a great job with this, and I actually put something in before the video. It's a nice, light pine scent. I'm not a huge fan of pine usually because it's an easy scent to overpower or overtake other scents, but the balance is perfect on it. You get that nice pine with a hint of a little bit of juniper and stuff, and you hit the ball on the head. Great job with that, brother. Yeah. Very good story. And uh, you mentioned juniper. There's spruce, vanilla, coconut cherry, and brandy toddy in there also. And uh, what, a, what a good story. And I wanted my son to come in because he's, he's a bit of a history buff. And I wanted him to tell you that story. And there's a story with each one of his oils. And like I said, he's, he's new to the scene, the beard scene. Not a lot of people know about him. But I implore you to uh, reach out and go check him out. Uh, very cool website. Very nice person. Uh, please go check out Notable Beard Company. Next up, we have the master mixer, TJ, the bearded squirrel. And I've got one that's brand new, and I've got one that's old, and i got a bonus one for you. Uh, Christmas Memories is freaking amazing. Uh, it's cranberry fur, cashmere, and marshmallow. TJ ain't messing around lately. 
He's been cranking out some good stuff. He's always got something at work. Mm-hmm. He's like, hey, smell this. Hey, yeah. smell this. And it's like, oh my God, how do you how keep do you outdoing do yourself? How do you keep outdoing yourself? There's that pine in there, mm-hmm. but it's got that sweetness in it to back it up, to, to not make it so pine-like. But, oh, it's freaking amazing. Uh, this is a last year's Christmas one that he made, uh, Mystic Evergreen. And this is almost the same way. He's got the pine in it. But it's just so light in there that you actually enjoy wearing it. And like, like well, a lot of us started with pine scents. And we're all sick of the, the standard just pine. Mm-hmm. And TJ is, is freaking phenomenal with what he's been doing lately. Mix it up. Yeah, and he could put pine in it. And you'd be like, yeah, that's good. So the last one I got is Snow Day. And uh, it is, uh, let's see, I need bigger glasses. I'm getting old. Can you read that? Yeah. Okay, scent profile. Cloudberry, balsam, eucalyptus, sweet mint, and vanilla. And the mint is there. And it is oh, perfect balance. It's almost like you take sweet mint gum and... Yeah, gum. Mint gum. Just mix it with just a touch of berry. Like mm-hmm. it, it just balances really well. Yeah. Excellent job, TJ, Evan... And uh, Jimmy, Jimmy Atkins from uh, Ready Met, excellent job. Last but not least, I want to talk about Apex, and I want to talk about last year's Wet Bandits, because I can't get enough of this scent. Wet Bandits is a wild combination that I fell in love with last year, and I got a hold of Dylan Alig uh, a couple days ago, and I said, bro, is it coming back? I want to talk about it on the video, and he said, no, but it's Big Brother is Sticky Bandits. And he said there's a couple of reviewers already have it, and they say it's better than Wet Bandits. Sure. I don't know how you get better than that. I don't know. But hey. Wet Bandits is baked bread. Believe that or not. Baked bread, uh, black spruce, anise, and Christmas spice. And that bread in there just really turns this scent on for me. It just humbles that scent, and it's amazing. What do you think of that? It smells like you walked into a nice bakery. Spice, bread just got baked, everything. It's beautiful. Love it. Seasonal holidays in a bottle. Yeah. So good stuff. We're up, we're about done here. Um Round Robin's coming up, and uh I've got Go Bearded coming probably in the next week. So we're gonna do the round robin and it's gonna get passed off to one of our new members. Uh just a quick update for you guys. Um, I'm over 10,000 views, and I want to thank each and every one of you guys, and I'm going to do a giveaway in January. Why January? Because i got a special guest coming on in January. He's a local guy. I like supporting small batch. I like supporting local, and he is local. He's the soap mason, and he dabbles in a little bit of beard oil, a little bit of soap, some elixirs for your eyes and skin, and uh, reached out to him about a week and a half ago. We had a really nice conversation at his business, and I want him on the show. And I'm going to do a soap giveaway. Nobody's done soap giveaways, but I know most of the beer brothers in the community love their soaps too. So, son, are you good? I believe so. I am good. Cheat out. Bye-bye. Deuce.